What's up, guys? It's your boy Chicks. So Styles P is not happy with Math Hoffa and J Hood after their last interview on Math Hoffa's My Expert Opinion podcast. Make sure you guys go check that out. I'm going to play the clip for you guys shortly. Styles P wrote in the caption saying, We ain't clickbait and don't lie on us. We always been stand up. And this will be the first and last time addressing this situation. Now, my Hoffa commented saying, Since we doing internet shit, I respond then. Maybe JoJo can give me your number because I don't have it. Or maybe Kiss can answer his text. Or the week I had the interview, Sheik could have reached back, but it's all love. I wonder if Angie or Flex would have been whack for doing the same interview. Now, I also know Math Hoffa is planning on responding on his YouTube channel to this. Make sure you guys go check it out. Here's a video. Tell me what you guys think about it. Push comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. I'll see you guys later. What's good, y'all? Y'all all right? Happy New Year. Let me say this before the New Year's come, because I'm moving on. It's the last of the year. You know, I usually don't feed into this. The group doesn't feed into this. It's been 20-some long years. First and foremost, math, I'm disappointed in you, bro. In my expert opinion, you didn't ask me anything about Jay Hood. Then you want to have Jay Hood up there. You could have called me on my line to fact check the shit he was saying. But you got to do what you got to do. We all got to do what you got to do when it comes to working and getting business out. But that, my man, was some whack ass shit. But I get it. Love is love. I still love y'all. Still love the show. Get what it is. But next time you could you could G check or fact check the thing. One, we ain't no clickbait group. Luch don't owe you no fucking interview. And nobody definitely don't owe Jay Hood no 60 G's. I'm really disappointed in Jay Hood, to, to be honest with you. Hood has been 20-something years, bro. 20-something years. We never spoke greasy about you after you did your bullshit, you did your sucker shit. Nobody never said anything wrong about you at no time. Actually, I spent three after you did that bullshit, I spent about three years of my life protecting your ass. When people wanted to touch you and harm you in places and call me and had to drop on you, leave that man alone. God bless him. You know what I'm saying? But here it is 20 years later. Luch been in your house to fight your father for you before. Gave your mother money when your house burnt down. We actually made you into the artist you are. Luch used to argue with Flex to play your shit and do this, but your old 60 G's, the label didn't even really want to fuck with you, but your old 60 G's, and the sucker shit about it where I ain't even say, you know you ain't no 60 G's because you tried to fucking sue us. You went to the lawyers. You tried to sue us. You tried to see that we had your publishing, to see that we didn't have your publishing, and your publishing was there. And then I bet you never told the people there that I told you, hey, whatever you want to do, however you feeling, God bless you. I'll make sure it's okay. We'll fix whatever you, what needs to be fixed, how it needs to be fixed. But you still went and did that sucker shit you did. So they never wanted to fuck with you. And 20 years down the line, you are still bitter and using our name for attention. Why didn't you make successful albums in them 20 years or do something with your time successful? That is on you, my brother. You're not, you not part of D-Block because you ain't cut from the cloth we cut from. We would never turn around because we ain't happy. Or the niggas who took care of you, you feel old more that you never gave shit to, that gave you your name, your look, your, 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 your fucking everything, and you wanted more looking at other people and you didn't get it so you decided to flip. You ain't like us. So that's why it didn't work. But I'm offended that you didn't just go up there and actually fucking apologize. I don't know why you didn't just apologize and when or how the fuck are you a co-founder of D-Block? Are you fucking kidding me? I love you. I wish you the best. God bless you. Keep doing what you're doing. But keep our fucking name out your mouth, man. Keep our name out your mouth and anybody, you speak on our name with respect. We showed you what loyalty is, what honor is. I don't care about clickbaits. I don't care about interviews. Do your shit and get it right. Jay Hood is not D-Block because when he got, did the sucker shit, he didn't have discipline, dedication, and determination. So, boom.
That's all it is. But damn, hood, you should have apologized as a grown man 20 years later and just left it at that. But no, here we go. Nobody owes you a damn thing. And stop lying on people's names. Like, I've never addressed this shit in all of these years. Always say, God bless you. Keep it moving. But damn, bro, 20 years later, you still... Come on, man. What's up, bro? What's up with you? 20 years later? Are you kidding me? 20 years later, you don't got nothing better to talk about? We never spoke on you bad. Never said anything ill about you. Never been on any radio station, anywhere, TV, and said one damn thing about you. You dragged the chain on the floor. You ran around. You, you, you was trying to be with 50 and them G unit didn't take you after neither. You flipped because you thought they was going to take you. That shit backfired on you. See, you're not saying everything that happened. And I don't want to bother to say it because it's fucking 20 years ago. And who gives a fuck? Move on with your life. But you ain't going to lie and say somebody robbed you for something they didn't rob you for. When niggas did nothing but years of taking care of you. Did you ever get charged for a studio fucking session ever? Did anybody ever ask you for a receipt or money back or do anything when niggas bought you gear, clothes, sneakers, helped your mom pay the rent? Did anybody ever give you a fucking, like every other fucking record company, an invoice? No. Relax, buddy, and keep it G. And just as far as this clickbait shit comes, man, stay honorable or, or don't. But don't, don't try to use us for clickbait. That shit ain't fly, man. Shit ain't fly, and it ain't cool. I'm fresh out the gym, and I, 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 I'm on my fifth post seeing you lie, and I'm tired now. Now I'm fucking tired. It's been 20 some years, and you wanna use that shit to stay alive? Nah, buddy. Stay up, God bless you, wish you the best. Do something else with your time, man. Do something else convenient, constructive, and self-helpful to yourself, please.